a deeper appreciation of poetry in our community. One of my goals is to help to inspire the use of poetry to deepen our respect for humanity and to help social issues become human, human issues for human beings, not human beings lost in the quagmire of political juggernauts. I'll start with a little lesson. First, a very short poem called a haiku. Robin's in the tree, reflecting in the fountain. Black cat lunges, splash. <laughs> Robin's in the tree, reflecting in the fountain. Black cat lunges, splash. How often we dive into our illusions and come up soaking wet. The illusion that we are better than those we can look down on. But beware, the great Latin American writer Gabriel Garcia Marquez reminds us, the only time you look down at someone is to give them a hand up. Nobel Prize winning poet Pablo Neruda writes, with a little adaptation from me, <laughs> To whomever is not listening to the sea this Tuesday morning. To whomever is cooped up in a tent. A hovel. A bombed out house. In a mine or a harsh prison cell. To him, to her, to them we come. You and I to them. We come, and without speaking, without looking, without judgment, we arrive and open the door of their hovel, their tent, their prison, their desperation, their despair. And a vibration starts up, vague and insistent. A great fragment of thunder sets in motion. And we, you, and I, give them hope of humanity. Bread, water, shelter, hope, even dreams. Like after the rain, the scent of earth tells us the world will continue. Today, the rumble of the planet in the foam of the raucous rivers of the ocean, flood of our humanity and human love. The stars vibrate swiftly in their corona, and the sea is rejoicing, and we are all blessed for the giving and the love. Today, the giving and the love. And we look down on them and give them a hand up. I think of Pope John the 23rd. Everything human concerns us. And from a very religious poet, I was hungry and you fed me, thirsty and you gave me to drink, Naked and you clothed me, in prison and you came to me. In closing, I suggest you go to www.poetryfoundation.org and look up peace and social justice poems and enrich your awareness of how poets and artists oppose war and support humanity with social justice and a call for peace for all people. God bless all people everywhere. Thank you.